Hello everyone, I'm Peachy and welcome to another episode of the Guild Wars 2 Living World. This is Season 4, Episode 5, All or Nothing. This is my first time playing this, I'm doing it live on Twitch. So, hello to everybody on Twitch and thank you to everybody over on YouTube watching the edited highlights version. Welcome, welcome. Hey, Ogden. Ooh. Ooh. Look at that. He's got a crystal ball. Enter Glen Slayer. Oh, man. This place looks a little trashed. Comfort Oreen. It's been a while. That was... Glint's remains. I didn't know she had remains. Oh. <laughs> she didn't come here earlier oh my god I didn't know Glint had remains she's like she completely turned to crystal oh she's so precious I can't handle that she's like a puppy I think that's a record how how quickly <laughs> how quickly an episode got me to cry. <laughs> I'll wait for you. Okay. Enter Glint's trials. Oh. Oh, look at the crystals on the ground. Share the burden so she can absorb it. Oh. I'm here. I'm here. How do I- how do I share the burden? Okay, there. Yeah, she did it! Look! Yeah. You're a good puppy. You're doing good, Orin. I'm by your side, puppy. I'm by your side. Okay? Okay? You don't gotta be scared. No. You don't gotta be scared. I'm with you. We're here together, okay? Oh, she- oh, hi. She's facing me. I want to take a picture with you. It's hard when you're facing me. There we go. We need more branded. Woo! Look at her fireball! Her fire breath! Oh, man. Oh! Oh! Oreen! That was awesome! You see? How we forged a weapon capable of piercing Karalkatorik's armor, the Dragon's Blood Spear. And then just boom! Yeah. Oh, that'll do. That'll do. This is very nice. This is very nice weapon. Maureen, wait! Wait, wait! We need to work together. Oh, oh, she's like dive bombing it. Damn! Did she just like take this thing down in one swoop? Holy crap. Oh my god, she's wrecking face. Oh my god, I think she's found her courage. Oh, look at her, she's ready. She's ready! Scion, you fear what Krakatoric might make of you, champion. You fear for her survival and the world's. Branded Oreen! Help one another. Heck yeah, if you're Branded Oreen. Lethal strike with the dragon spear. Oh! Stand and try again, champion. You must not fail. Oh, cool. Instead of just like downstate restart. Cannot succeed without you. All of the spears. Just keeps Oh, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Stab! Yes. Got it. Oh champion. Come forward and learn how this long journey began. Oh man! Woo! We had an adventure in there. Look, she made a little I fire. Your hands full, but I didn't think it would take two days. Two days. Two days. It felt like a fraction of that. Hmm. 
This is new. They're saying Orin. I'm drooling into my own hand. <laughs> Who wrote that? Who wrote that? Oh my god! Was that... Was that McLean? Oh my god. All right. We're we're one instance in and this episode has made me cry twice. <laughs> All right, choir. An <gasps> integral part of the forging process. It's a Zephyrite choir. It's a Zephyrite choir. It makes it even better. Every time you get the word out, you two are saving lives. We three Oh. <laughs> Wish. Oh, hello there, Commander. Gambling is legal in Alona, you know. <laughs> Care to guess the outcome, Commander? He's all about gambling. This is perfect. <laughs> Don't bother me. I'm thinking. Oh, I thought you wanted me to gamble. Okay. Team No Fun at Party or Team Furballs! I gotta go with Team No Fun at Parties. Oh, talk to me. Tell me things. Tell me Steve's name. Can't talk to him. You got his new armor? Ooh, you looking fancy, Logan. You looking fancy. I got, I got Guild Wars 1 vibes from this little area right here. Because everything was more open. In Guild Wars 1, there was less, like, tall structures and stuff. It was, like, very flat. This is really nice. This map. Ooh. Ooh. The lighting is so pretty. Wow, this map is so, like... Like, there's peaks and valleys and twists and turns. I love it. Just a little ram over here. Are you lost? Are you lost? What are you doing? What are you doing? He's just, he's just, he's like, he's sniffing the crystals. He just wants, he wants some alone time. It's okay, you can have alone time. Oh, yes! You proved your usefulness to the dredge. Robon's around, but he's just a head, so here's Ogden. What, what, what do I... Hello? Ogden. Like an old man we trying to use, like, an for iPhone. The weapons. It said the Zephyrite choir will vibrate the crystal at the proper frequency. That is awesome. Beauty is there. Whoa. Oh, look Almost at it filling up. Done. Get ready to quench the weapon. Okay. We gotta make all these for an entire army. It's gonna take a while. 
I, I got my paragon weapon. I did. We were just talking about that. They use spears and they like throw them over their head. I've always loved the animation. The crystal blooms. Oh, cool. Everyone's here. It's like Super Smash Brothers. Right. Commander, dire news from Glint. What? The forces are scattered. We can't hold out any longer. Kralkatoik has entered the domain of the lost. He's devouring everything in his path, destroying or scattering the dead. Explains all the ghosts. How bad is it gonna get? Wow. They still didn't call her by her name, but they took her out of the raid wing. She was in the raid wing. Oh my god, Kalkatork is kicking the ghost out of the mists! Oh my god! Guys, Gwen is my favorite Guild Wars character in all of Guild Wars. In all of the history of Guild Wars 1 and 2, she is my favorite character. She's got such, such a legacy in the game. And then she came back for Eye of the North. She had a bonus mission pack. We, we met her at the very, very start of Prophecies. I don't know. I, and I cosplayed her. And when I cosplay a character, that just makes me absolutely fall in love with them even more. So. Ah! Orin! Yay! Oh, it's invulnerable. Ah! Get me up. Get me up. Logan! Ritlock. Ritlock. Ritlock with the soft fur. Ritlock, no, it's okay. Nobody help me. It's fine. It's fine. This is fine. I'm not like, like Orin's champion or anything. No, it's fine. You guys, you guys keep fighting. You guys got here. this. You guys got this. I'll watch. Let's, let's kill this little brain. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. All right, what are we doing? Orin, branded over it. Oh no, I was worried about this. About what? That as she becomes more powerful, Ori may exhibit behaviors more typical of her species. You mean our dragon might start acting like a dragon? She just branded the ground we're standing on. We're lucky she didn't kill anyone. I think she did a pretty damn good job. Case it slipped anyone's mind. She's Krakatorik's granddaughter. Will you all be quiet? Thank you, She's Kate. She's trying to tell us something. Thank you. Thank you. She's gonna kill Kate. She's trying to talk. You could do it. It's all right. Speak through me. Ooh, speak through Kate. <gasps> yes. Oh my god! Another dragon that can corrupt so well. <laughs> Keith, are you... you? Oh, I'm me. I'm so happy that... ArenaNet listened to me. <laughs> and put in more uh, cutscenes because... What to do now? Holy freaking crap. I just, I mean, seeing that in a cutscene was so much more powerful than if it just, like, happened out in the world, you know? This is some serious shit. I think that is one of the best things they could have done for Kaith, because we've wanted to talk to Orin, right? Like, we want Orin to have a voice, we want to know exactly what she's thinking, but Kaith has, like, needed something, you know, she's... She she's done so much, and we've mistrusted her and gained trust again. I I I just pff, <laughs> I never 
foresaw that happening, and that was the coolest thing ever. Oh my god, I'm so happy everybody's got dialogue and it's all voice. It's so good. So tell me about this idea for the so resonance good. crystals. I trust you over some stupid spear any day. <laughs> His voice is still, to this day, just absolutely amazing. I just want you to know how much I appreciate you looking out for Taimi. She's who I have left. And she's an excellent scientist. I've come to value her. Ah, he likes her. He likes her. This facility backs up on a mountain range, yes. What if I were to set charges to bring those mountains down on Kraukatorik? That's whoa. Inspired. Put a team together. Saida can take you up. Oh my! He wants to blow up the whole mountain. Jeez. Okay. All right. I'm down, Canuck. He's just like, can I blow something up? We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. This is happening. Well, apparently Canuck didn't have enough uh, space in his bag of holding to carry his detonators, so... Ooh! Look at little Orin! I don't know. Is this gonna work? Whipped up something special to feed the troops. Water taste? Heck yeah! Optional eat a nourishing meal. Heck yeah! End of the world special. Chicken and rice with fresh carrots and broccoli. Oh my god, now I'm hungry. It sounds so good. I'm eating. Woo! Yeah! Look at all the bread. Mmm. Yum! Mmm. Thank you. Okay. Between the fleet's cannons and Kanak dropping a mountain on him, Krauk should already be hurting when he shows. We're going to lure him right where we want him. Yeah. And then we're going to make his vision a reality. Yeah. Lint believed in us. I believe in you. Together, we're going to save the world and Woo! kill the Crystal Dragon. To your posts. Roll diplomacy. Orin, I'm so scared. Okay, so do we have a plan for the fact that we were told that we can't kill any more Elder Dragons? Does Orin have a plan for, like, replacing him? Cuz... Did we forget that killing Elder Dragons is bad? Cuz it's bad. Reinforced armor. Your armor has been reinforced for the battle to come, and your movement speed has been increased. Ooh. On successful evasion, you pulse a slowing effect to nearby enemies. Whoa, this is awesome! This is awesome. I'm ready. I can't do this. Uh, Probably I could follow you tomorrow, but that wouldn't help your family. Dying in battle might. Never oh, wow. An old man, but if the cost was your little sister's lives, would you pay it? Wow. No. You're right. Wow! I can do this. Wow! What a good way to put that. All right. How's she doing? She's afraid, but she's ready to enter the mists and draw Krakatorik here. It's time. We're with you. We're with you, girl. Oh, good luck, Corrine! Krakatorik arrives in 30 seconds. This feels familiar. Oh, Ritlock. Commander, brace yourself! He's- Woo! Maureen! He's gonna eat him! He's been this- Welcome in! He's huge! Well, yeah, he's big! Now. With pleasure! Channel a resonating glass. Okay. Oh, go! Hurry! Go! Get up there! Get up there! He's focused on our Okay. Just like before, I channel her power. He's channeling you, folks. Okay, channel it. Go! Shoot! Shoot! Take his head off! Ah! There! On his neck! Focus your assault on that wound! <laughs> that actually worked. That actually worked! It sure did! Hit him where it hurts! Throw the spears! Throw the spear! 
Get him, Maureen! Woo! Oh my god. Careful, Maureen. We're breaking him. Commander, <gasps> What's this? Come here. Aureen says she can use the ley lines to help you get across. Oh my god. Fly, Strolly! Fly! Commander, are you flying over the dragon? Look out! He's trying to push <gasps> him further! Aureen, you're doing so good, honey! Whoa! Aureen just grounded crop to the wall! Better get to that second crystal, quick! I love how the camera followed what was going on. That was brilliant. Quickly, this way. Oh my god. Aureen, please be careful! Aureen, she's being so brave! We need more branded. Come here. Okay. Do it. Do it! Go get him! Everybody! Woo! Okay, come on, Aureen. Come on, Aureen. I, ho I hope you're ready for it. Oh! Is that a spear? Hit him! Hit him with the spear! Hit him in the brain! Hit him in the brain! I hope you're ready for whatever you gotta do, Aureen. Keep the branded off this one! I'm going! I'm going, Aureen! You'd be so brave, okay? You'd be so brave! What's up, guys? You just hanging around? You just, you're just watching yeah. the show? This way's block two. We're trapped. Oh, crap. Oh, oh! Got some light coming. Oh! The dredge! anyone <laughs> else! Yes! Oh, thought you were fresh out of tanks. What can I say? You inspired us to liberate one. Yeah! If you fail, we all die. And the spirit of revolution dies with us. Go! Oh my god, I've never liked the dredge so much. Ah! Oh my god. This is my favorite dredge moment. Are we going through here? Oh my god, that was awesome! God, Aureen, look at her. She's actually fighting him. Look at her attacking him. Oh, Bubby. Bubby Aureen. Oh, damn. He's so big. Oh, my God. Here I'm... we go again. Remember when enemies stayed dead after you killed them? <sighs> Good times. <laughs> I'm so glad I got a new computer for this episode. <laughs> Hi. He's not very happy. He's not he, very um, have his attention. He's not happy. I, I can shield us. Oh, Bram, I don't know if there's going to be enough, bro. I don't know if there's gonna be enough, bro. Ori, no, 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 honey. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Oh, honey, what did you do? I told you I could. <laughs> I'll help, Brad. It's up to you, Commander. Go finish this. What did you do? Aha. Uh -huh. Oh! I'll break him apart piece by piece if I have to. Yeah! Get him! Hit him in the eyeball! Crap talks. I get him, Maureen! Yes! Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he. Oh! He's not happy. He's not happy. We're gonna take this. Dude, down. Oh, no, wait. Ah, she's waiting for me. I can't get there. I can't get there. Get up. Hi. Hi. Oh, get behind the shield. Get behind the shield. Oh, he broke his eyeball. You're doing it. He's gonna drop. Yeah, Ori, right into his mouth. Ori, Ori? 
We did it. Maureen! But now we've got a very diff- a, a very crucial decision to make here. You killed your grandma. I'm sorry, Maureen. Maureen just killed her grandma. Are we going to the Domain of the Lost again? Yeah! She's so powerful! <gasps> Did he swallow us? No. Tried to brand us. Are we branded? Not okay. We're not okay. Where's Orin? They said, um, that crowd could. Oh my god. They said that Krakatoric just flew away. A promise that we'd win. Mm, no. No. This is expansion level stuff, you guys. Where's Orin? Commander. Oh, spirits. We thought. Where is she? Came true. She's gone. <laughs> what do we do now? <laughs> We're screwed, dude. I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> That was exactly like her prophecy. <laughs> mine. All mine. Her prophecy was right? Oh, close enough. Oh Next my time, god!
I can't even fully comprehend. Like, just walking slowly up there and around the corner, and she, it was just like, it was so vivid. Like, I, I can't, like, my brain can't even process. And then what are we gonna do now? I don't know. <laughs> What the heck? I can't even. We need all the hugs, guys. We need all the hugs. That was the most well done living world episode ever that they've ever done. And there were no bugs. <laughs> I refuse to believe Maureen is dead. She's frozen in crystal and she'll break out. But she's not, though. She wasn't branded. She was pierced by the branded crystals. And, 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 and Kaith lost her connection to Maureen. It was a fake Maureen with Maureen fluffy branded crystals. Everyone's like, no, I don't believe it. No. <laughs> I have always wanted darker stories from Guild Wars 2, and this most certainly qualifies. I, 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 I don't know how the devs did it. I don't know how you guys did this, because that was every instance, not just the final one, every instance with the cutscenes and the new mechanics, um, there was focused, um, a, a focused camera, like when Maureen's flying around, if they want you to see, uh, like when she brands the wall, like the, the camera goes and focuses on her, um, you know, flying over to the other side, like, everything was, there was so many new mechanics, there was so many new, um, like, there was cutscenes and, and devices and so many new things that, I mean, that was expansion level content. Like they were not, not joking. I really did think we were going to defeat him. I really did think like, oh, this is it. We're going to defeat a dragon. But this, th there's definitely never been more of a sense of hopelessness. Um, than, than now, because Orin was everything. She was, she was our hope. She was what was going to save us. Wow. I, I, I absolutely applaud everybody. The writers, the, you know, uh, the programmers, the map artists. I mean, the, the sound design. I mean, the music. Everything was top notch and blew me away in this episode. I, I think I ended up crying, like, what, three times? Which is definitely a new record. <laughs> Gwent's joke is we have still not left the sanctuary. It was all a vision. Don't you do that it was all a dream. Don't you do that was it was all a dream. Glint is like in the mists somewhere, right? And we're, we're very adept at going in and out of the mists now. It's like not even a big deal to go into the mists, right? So, like, I don't know. Maybe next episode we're gonna, like, pair up with, like, Gwen and, like, she's gonna say, like, Hey, I've been in the mists for 250 years, let me show you around! This is where dead dragons go! And remember that, she, yeah, a lot of people saying that she, she had Joko magic inside her. She has Lich magic inside of her, so... I don't know if, uh, you know, maybe she'll come back as undead Orin. I don't know. So if Orin died... Does that mean that all of the magic that was inside her, Joko, Balthazar, Jormag, all the all the dead dragons or sleeping dragons, does that mean all of that magic? We didn't see, well, we would see anything because we were unconscious, but I wonder if Kralkatoric consumed that. I wonder if that magic left her and went into, like, Kralkatoric. Did he get even more powerful? It's like, do you guys remember how mind-blowing it was when in season three they were like oh there's two elder dragons waking at the same time and we we're like two two what and and look how far we've come i wonder if orin's final blast she shot her soul into him and she'll transform him into her and she'll kill him from the inside and and so then the body would be just a shell 
That's a crazy cool theory. Yeah, that's very possible because we, we don't know exactly what Glint told Orin either. I give Arinanet so many kudos for um for having the balls to kill Orin. <laughs> for for having the guts to do that. That is insane. And by the way, it is thunderstorming here. The the sky got super dark. <laughs> the sky is weeping for Orin right now. Like, no joke. Oh my god, thank you all for being a part of that. Thank you all for experiencing that with me. That was... Oh my god. I, I, I don't even know. 